In an effort to promote the sanitation sector under the third cluster of the Transform Freetown Plan, the Freetown City Council has embarked on the construction of their waste transfer station, which is funded by DFID and CRS. However, this project seemed to have hit a bump as the Minister of Land and Country Planning, Denis Sandy, on Friday, 16th April, embarked on a massive demolition of the site. As he said, the council is unable to present adequate papers for the land. When speaking to this medium, Ernest Bindi Jr., the chief executive officer of Nesto Global Ventures, who is responsible for the construction of the waste transfer station, explained the incident that occurred at the construction site which led to the demolition of the said site. So basically, my name is Udi them, for the company that I pillars them, and the carpets are then they move. So me just left, now he then come in now. So when they come in now, they look for him by who? They come in, say the man is on fire. The minister is saying, "Mr. Don't stop the man." They then broke the walls and destroyed everything. So they begin great walls now. Thief and tools them, and one of the man the money. A thief, the foreman in phone, then with the other man money. So when we can call the white guy, say you know call the mayor. So the mayor they only really come. So but let me try forget pictures of. Photo of and videos of waiting to go on. So now I say, okay. So I like at the end, I pull me phone, put on the video. I just take the end, man. Now I know how the video say, say, not do that, stop. So like I just cancel it. So at the end, now they cancel it. Now the other lady, when I do now waiting, go and meet the other man. I say, waiting me, they do not say, I'm going to get this site here. I say, and I'm really in charge. I get documents to the effect. They say, if not from land. I say, no, they say, you have to get documents from land. I say, the project, I say, the council, I get documents from the land. Well, this video made a video. Then uh, we hold the video. Because the minister, they say, nobody enough for video, nobody enough for take pictures. Nobody enough for video, nobody enough for take pictures. So the security hold me phone. So I say, let's give the phone. They say, in the boat, and the minister says, for both of us. So now I say, well, I go with them. So meanwhile, the respondent of commission, that all on that wait, we then come, then they take them from that point. I expected the Minister of Land and Country Planning to have contacted me before taking such harsh decision on destroying a project that is funded by external partners, the mayor of the Freetown municipality, Yvonne Akisoya, said. She further stated that the transfer station will serve up to 240,000 people in the six wards around the community. And we all know this sanitation is a big issue. And waiting me there on the ground, where it would have been the source of the conversation, was SLRA with a car park, and FCC with a transfer station. And this transfer station here, we get different funding that part of is a, a process where they happen right across the city. Seven of these are being built. We go enable then tricycle. Instead of the effort go all the way bombing. Then they come here, go get light, it go get, as you see, the office, it gets the sorting for the recycling material, and it go ensure say the tricycles, they're not gonna get for go far. So they go collect more dirty. And we're able to process them. Every morning, they skip the cam, it puts the empty skip. Every evening, it care and go. And it go get 24 hours light. We even look for see if that electricity, we go able to do the um, 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 biodigester so that electricity go be provided from here on a small scale. So that's uh, when they look all of that, now they say, well, especially since the money is ready, if you don't put the money, city council will not go ahead. Me left that meeting day. The paperwork left with them. If, when yesterday I asked Isheka, I say, was any problem there? He say, the site plan, he not saying you mentioned that to me no so? Yeah, you say, he not sure council. if our first have been getting to the ministry. So, yeah, it's going direct so it could have been counter. that that happened. Wait me go ask, is if that is the case, given say this is the UK government taxpayers' money, and they signed it a big, big one, defeat funded transfer station project. For come and say by tomorrow at four o'clock, if we not get a document, we busy the right, then I don't ask them for the plan. For letting go now and say this plan here, it was supposed to have gone. We own internal issue, we make the plan not go. Now, something way departmentally, we get forget to the bottom of them. But it, but whatever the case, for let you move immediately to breaking down something we write externally funded 
at a time where we know say everybody they cry for resources, then where they fund we, then they get COVID that in country. So I mean I think say we feel really we really feel am because as I say, three months now it don't pass from when we get our meeting. We then give it the green light. Say when I go ahead, city council. People then come, they, they hold community meetings. Mayor Ivan Akisoya concluded by highlighting the Local Government Act of 2004, which gives the council powers to own and control certain lands. Frantic efforts have been made to reach the minister in order to get his side of the story, but to no avail. This medium is always open to the minister to explain his own side of the story. Reporting for Star News, I am Muzi Soju Kamara.